Alright guys, what is up? I'm back. It's Pope Fan Rocks1234. And I would like to tell you guys something about this game. This game gets pretty awesome, but Camtasia gets pretty annoying due to the fact that it lost me four minutes of good quite good recording. Anywho, I believe right here you're gonna find your next capsule. Uh this gets so irritating going over it after I just did this. Anywho, I'm going to be recent on my upload on uh, Legendary Gamers HD from now on. I'm going to make sure they're HD no matter what. So, yeah, I, I think you're going to enjoy that. Anywho, get that out of the way and oh my gosh, it's military soldiers. Oh no, oh no. Alright, alright, alright. Let's do this. Come on. Uh, I was trying to get that cool Kamehameha. Uh -huh. Yeah, they give you a new uh, capsule to do that cool Kamehameha uh -huh in here. By the way, the boss in here is so annoying. Uh, it just... The boss actually took me three tries. Which is kind of weird since I'm already... Usually I'm already done with the boss. In my, my first try actually. Which is actually weird, but... If you guys have a better recorder, camcorder I could get, please notify me. So it's pretty good. Instead of Camtasia, which kind of sucks and loses me capture. Ugh, so annoying. It, it's just, and it doesn't even tell me, like, uh, it, it's just weird. Camtasia. I know about Vegas Pro, but I've used that to Sony Vegas Pro, and I didn't quite like it. Basically, uh, that I just don't like it. I don't know. People say it's awesome. People say it's the best. Well, I don't think so. And anyways, going through that, going through that. No, you. Yeah, there's a new enemy that gets quite annoying with his missiles coming out of his mouth. And I think I missed the capsule. And I know he shoots his bionicle arm. You can't go back there. Well, I think there was a capsule there. Alright, he's gonna shoot his bionicle arm. Missed. Ha ha. Actually, the capsule's here. And that allowed us to get some more awesome things. The capsule was actually right here. Or right here. So good thing I know this game good. Because then, unless that, I would have been forgetting every single detail. But of course, since I know this game awesomely well. All right. Why don't you leave me alone? I'm just a little boy trying to save the world. Seriously, I don't get it. What is it with these people trying to hurt Goku? I mean, he's just a little kid, man. And they can't put up with this little kid. And that's just weird. I mean, Gohan, even Gohan's a little kid, but they cannot put up with Gohan. It's just so weird in Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball. It, it just gets weird to me sometimes. Alright, I think one of these drops a hamburger. No, they don't. I remember one of them dropped a hamburger one probably glitched out or something. This game does not have too many good glitches though. Which kind of sucks, but... Yeah, you know. It's good to play the game. But I definitely do not like cheating games due to the fact it ruins their fun. I mean, I get you... I mean, I realize you get everything in the game that you basically want, but... It just ruins the fun. Think about it. You're basically getting everything without doing anything. That, that kind of ruins the fun, you know. Alright, right here, I believe. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's this dude. This dude is so annoying. There's actually two stages to him. He gets so annoying. Hopefully, I won't have to cut out the part of me dying to him. But he's throws down shurikens and ninja 
freaking things, and he does that sword technique from <laughs> Zelda Twilight Princess. Um, basically, I recommend not using your uh, Kami Hami on this guy. This guy just walls it. Um, trust me, I've tried that solution once. I didn't like it. Anywho, can't believe I beat him on my first try, but guess what? You're not done. You are definitely not done. I mean, there are about tons of these guys you gotta kill. So anyway, this is where you really should use your Kamehameha. Even though they're gonna attack you. Oh my gosh, those boomerangs get so annoying. And those shurikens too. Each of them have their own health bar, which kind of sucks, but you have to put up with that and make sure that you don't let them guard too much. Anyways, I die right here. Yeah, oh well. I'm going to cut it out, and I will be back after I defeat all these people. Alrighty, guys, I am back right after I just beat defeated those guys. And... Um, oh no, there's no caps lock here. And, if you guys want some background music, I can put some background music to my videos, so you guys can have some cool things to listen to. Anywho, since we're at full health, it really, we really don't need that much recovery things, but... Anyways, I hope that rocket's still not up there. Rocket clean. I wonder if the thing, if the, these robots are he's or she's. I always thought of that, like, these characters, these, uh, villains. Anyways, your next capsule is going to be right here. Make sure to pick that up. And uh, let's go back here. Two hit KOs. Anywho, this is one of the most weirdest rooms, in fact, in this game. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Alright, there we go. How do you like that? Four and one. So, I always thought, how could Goku in the future fire off so big shots like... When he's fighting Vegeta, he shoots off, like, a shot that was about, I don't know, 22 feet or something. 22 feet wide shot, and he can't do it when he's a kid. Which is kind of, I mean, at least 12 foot, you know, you're just a kid, I get it, at least 12 foot, but that is not going to happen because he's just not that strong as a kid. I mean, he hasn't trained with is uh what you wanna call it that guy from heaven I, I forgot his name I always forget characters names sometimes I even forget Navi's name I was like who is that guy again who gets annoying sometimes actually Navi really really looks cool I mean without Navi I wouldn't be knowing half the things I do but yeah, oh yeah, this is the new item I forgot to uh, mention off. Now you just have to press L to give yourself a good, ch it al it's already charged, you don't have to hold the charge button or the L button to wait for your time meter to charge, which always is helpful. Right there you can pick up a life, but I think you pick up a capsule there. I don't know, I think it was just a life. Anywho, now... These are red robots, you're going to want to wait for them to explode because they do tons of damage. Anywho, they give you that health bar right there, just not to help you, but also because it's boss battle time. Anywho, I'm going to skip that and I recommend using, not using your Kamehameha on this guy. This guy does have a good reputation for making things last really, really long. Anywho, that blizzard did nothing, and one more, and, are you kidding me? Alright, I'm gonna take that hit. 
Ha ha ha, you're frozen so you cannot hurt me. What I don't get is how your sword, like, bounces off of his body. That just, that's just creepy. Are you a blob or something? Okay, um, I'm gonna be back. Sorry about that, got a phone call, which always is bad, and he's eating me, which is total hacks. Remember to sub, comment, and like my video, and Legendary Gamer HP and to my channel, and remember to, yeah, give me a feedback on my video, what you think of it, you think it sucks, you think it's cool, you know, tell me about it, and alright, good thing I didn't get sucked in by his little tube thingy, no, I'm gonna die here, well, I'm gonna cut, cut this and and be back after I defeat him. Alright, I'm back, and he shatters after you defeat him. And, yeah, so that was it for Muscle Tower. And on the next, next time, we will be heading to the underwater cave. Hope you enjoyed the video, comment, sub, and like, and give me a feedback of the video, and have a good day, and goodbye.